Hello guys, this is George from Pageant and Press and today is the all-important close to interview with the panel of judges, also known as the Selection Committee. All of the 127 contestants have already completed the close to interview. So today I'll be talking about the outfits and also the judges and the format for the close to interview. So as you can see on the screen, these are the outfits of the contestants they wore for the close to interview. Just a small brief information about the selection committee or the panel of judges who have the tough decision to talk to the contestants. First, we have Miss Universe 1978, Margaret Gardiner from South Africa. She's the first ever South African woman to win the Miss Universe crown. So I think she absolutely deserves to be in this judge's position. She has went through this experience. She understands the format. I know it has changed quite a lot since the 1970s until now but she has lived that experience she has lived through those moments of this crucial behind the scenes things that happens right like in the hotel girls just talking to each other and creating this beautiful bond of friendship so i think she is probably the best person out of all the people in the selection committee who should be part of the judges then we have the Lele Pons, who is a YouTuber and an actress. I don't know much about her, but if you guys do know about the Summer of the Selection Committee, because I only know three of them, no, four of them. I know, um, of course, Miss Universe 1978, then Miss Universe Canada, and I also know the fashion designer, Michael Cinco. Those are the only three ones I know. So if I don't have much information about these people, please do not feel shy to comment in the comment section. So. I will know more about it, so please educate me. So yes, like I said, Miss Universe Canada 2020, Nova Stevens, who performed in the Miss Universe competition. She's a feminist, she's extremely empowered woman, very independent, so I understand why she's part of the judges panel. Then we have Fariana, who is a singer and a rapper. Then we have Gabriela Gonzalez, she's a fashion designer. Then we have Jessica Carrillo, she is a TV host. Then we have Camilla, Gilberti, she is a dentist and a YouTuber. Uh, Eva Cavalli, she was actually, fun fact, let me see if I find it. So, going back to her. So she was a former Miss Universe finalist. I think I have a picture. One moment, I'll show you what I mean. There we go. It's, it's her. So yeah, she was Miss Universe 1977, first runner-up from Austria where she represented the country so she is a former beauty queen alongside Margareta and Margaret and uh, Nova right two of them so they have three beauty queens I would love to see more beauty queens as part of the selection committee as they have the personal experience of going through this really hard and tremendous experience of joining in the Miss Universe competition which I don't think any of us will understand this unless he had been there done that experience so I'm really happy she's there and she was also married with Italian fashion designer Roberto Cavalli they have divorced back in 2010 but she is a beautiful woman she has made a big contribution to the fashion industry so I'm really happy that she's part of the selection committee from Austria okay going back to the groups so we have 12 groups each of the group has 12 contestants and all of the contestants have already completed the close to interview they started in nine o'clock in the morning mexico time so that for me that was yesterday because i live in thailand and um at the moment it's what's yeah it, it's already passed so the girls have already completed this so if you're watching this then yeah all your contestants if you're from let me know which country you're from by the way so your favorite beauty queen has already finished the close to interview so i will just give you a, just a small description about the format for the close to interview which is slightly different compared to last year so they have in groups of 11 contestants so one and one 11 contestants so you can see it's in alphabetical order starting with albania until belgium that's the first group who did the first interview at nine group number two belize until cayman islands is the second group then the 10 o'clock, 10.20, we had Chile to Denmark. Group number four, we have DR Congo until France, who started at 11 o'clock until 11.35. Then we have Germany and until, sorry, Germany until Hungary for the group five. The group number six is Iceland to Korea. Group number seven is Kosovo to Mauritius. 
Group number eight, which is three o'clock group, which is uh, Mexico, the host country until Nigeria, Chichi. Group number nine, we have North Macedonia and until Romania. Then the group number 10, Russia until Sri Lanka. Let me know which country you're from, guys, in the comment section. Group number, this is the second last group. Group number 11, we have Suriname until US Virgin Island. And the last group we have, group number 12, who were the last one to complete the closed interview, who started at 5.50 p.m. Mexico time and until 6.25, which includes USA, Uzbekistan, Venezuela, Vietnam, Zim Zambia and Zimbabwe. So all of them have already completed their closed door interview. So big congratulations to all the ladies. A small description about the closed door interview. All the contestants, as you can see, the, most of them were in groups. Right? All, actually, all of them were in groups of eleven, except the last group, which has six contestants. So every group enters the room together, and each judge, we have thirteen judge, will be sitting by themselves in an individual table and chair. Each contestant will have to go to one judge and then when the bell rings, they will have to rotate around to a different judge. Each contestant has three minutes to talk with each of the judge. And after 35 minutes, the, all the group, so the group one will be completed and move on to the group two. So that's how they started, which they started quite early at the 9 a.m. in the morning and they completed at... 6 25 p.m so it was a very long day for the panel of judges and i hope they are doing a really good job the questions are all about the contestants themselves so all the information they have put in their bi biography their profile regarding the education background any social advocacy social work they have previously done and the contribution they have made to the local communities in their respective countries Additionally, also there are any hobbies or interests, maybe they are creative, they like to sing, they like fashion, maybe modeling, anything except for that too. However, if you are very smart and you play the, the strategic game properly, you will talk a lot about your social work because being a Miss Universe, sure you need to be a model and you, look, you need to look beautiful, you need to have good stage presence. All of that are extremely important, but the most important thing is you need to be a beauty queen with a heart, someone who has a purpose, a charity, organization, whether it's a social work, social philanthropy work that you have done previously. And of course, you need to have the brains as well. So communication skills is crucial to win the Miss Universe competition. Just being a pretty face is not enough to win the Miss Universe crown. There are tons of beautiful girls. We have over 100 contestants. All of them are beautiful in their unique ways. However, to be the Miss Universe, you need to stand out from the rest of the contestants. What makes you authentic? What makes you confident and an empowered woman who deserves to represent the entire universe and be an ambassador, a global ambassador for peace and unity? So there are so many aspects that goes into it. So if you are smart, you'll talk about your education background and most importantly, your social work within the three minutes and impress the judges because making a good first impression is very, very hard, but also really important in order to qualify to the next round, which is the top 20 semifinals, who will be performing in the Sumter competition on the final coronation in Mexico City. So please be crucial, right? Very, very think carefully before you talk. And I know they already completed the closed interview, so we're just going to look at the fashion. So what do you think of the new format? I think it's slightly different compared to the previous years. I'm hearing Miss South Africa did it recently. So if you're from South Africa, let me know if this format of the interview is quite similar to your national competition of Miss SA Beauty Pageant. So let me know that as well. So okay, we're moving on from the interview to the interview looks for today. All right, so moving on. Let's go to this one. So, oh yes, and I forgot to say the rest of the judges. Then we have Michael Cinco, who is a fashion designer, Filipino fashion designer based in Dubai. He has dressed a lot of beauty queens like Ashwarya Rai, Miss Universe, Katriona Gray, Pia Wattsback, and numerous. The list is just so long for me to actually cover in this video, but he's extremely talented and he has worked with tons of beauty queens, so it makes sense why he's part of the panel of judges. Then we have Gian Luca Vecchi, I think he's Italian, um, internet personality. I've never heard of him though, so I don't know who he is, but let me know if you know him or you watch his content. Emilio Estefan, he is a musician and a film producer. I don't know much about him either. Gary 
Nader, N Nader, he is an art collector and a gallery owner. Okay, very interesting. And an artist, he's called Romero Brito. I would say there's a lot of Latin American judges. I feel like, what, 10? Is it 10? Or 9? There's a lot of them. I feel like this is very Latin America dominated. So it feels that they will probably pick someone from Latin America who speaks Spanish. Looking at the panel of judges, I wish there was a bit more diversity in the judges panel. I'm happy with him though. I'm happy to see him. I'm happy to see her. I'm happy to see her. And I, I'm happy to see her. So I'm happy to see four people, but I don't know much about the rest of them. Okay, let's talk about the fashion. So they all look beautiful, first of all. Let's start with Thailand. So Upo Suchata is. She's dressed to impress. I love this outfit. It is so simple. It's a white garment. So it's two piece corset with the drape around the shoulders, the neck piece, neck piece, <laughs> not neck piece, necklace, right? Neckline, sorry. Yeah, so I like that. It has a drape around the shoulders a little bit. It's very feminine, very modest. And I also really like that she has a ukulele in her hands. Is she going to play them? I think so. <laughs> I like it because we can really see who she is. Her hair is slicked back in a bun. We could really appreciate her natural Thai beauty. And I think that's a very smart move from the Miss Universe Thailand, Upo, as she is very intelligent, very talented, as she can also sing and perform. And overall, I think this is a very successful outfit. Out of 10 points, how much points will you give to Miss Thailand? Let me know in the comment section. I'll give her a solid 9 out of 10. I think it's a very good outfit. Beautiful. And let's see the second one. Same outfit without the sash. Still looks beautiful. I love her smile. She radiates, shines and glows. And I think she looks incredible. So I'm excited to see how she performed in the closed interview. Let's listen to this. She can sing. I didn't know Opal could swing. Like I knew that she was quite talented in other aspects like communication skills, runway, but I had no idea that Opal can play ukulele and actually sing. So Miss Shirley, you have a competition. <laughs> just joking. I know this would be a great just just to sing around and enjoy the moment. I would love to see her and Miss Shirley singing together. I think that would be a great duet. Uh, that would be fun. So if Miss Shirley is watching this video, do a video with Miss Thailand. This would be really fun and she's super talented. I think Opal could possibly win the Miss Universe crown. She has all the right aspect, qualities, of course the good heart and now a talent too. So she is jack of all trades and you know what? Let's go for it. I'm really happy for Thailand. I think this is a very successful outfit. So I will say top 5 for Thailand. And what place will you give her as well? Top 5, top 12, or top 30? No, before I say top 12, right? No, not, not top 20, it's uh, top 30, sorry. The, the judges are selecting the top 30 semi-finals from the closed interview. So I, yeah, correcting myself. Then they have Uzbekistan. Uh, she's also wearing a white outfit. She was former Miss International Uzbekistan. So she is... This is outfit. Nice, it's a uh, oversized trousers with beautiful jacket. It has is that is that a tree? Coconut tree. A palm tree. So yeah, it's it's beautiful. I think it's clean, very presentable, classy. I like it. What do you think of Uzbekistan? I think she lost a lot of weight since the Miss International competition, if I'm not wrong. Before she was a little bit chubby, plus size, now she is extremely fit and healthy so i like it she looks beautiful a great transformation so good job to uzbekistan and i hope she gets a placement in the top 30. then aruba i i loved aruba's photo let's go to her profile so aruba is wearing a white strapless jumpsuit right is that two-piece i think it's a um, blouse with um, a corset with trousers, it looks like two piece because this part has a seam. So yeah, I think this is really nice, beautiful, very pretty. Aruba, I like her official portrait which I posted on my Instagram too. So if you want to take a look at it, you could do it. 
So I'll give you a quick preview of my favorite portraits. So you can see I have Chile, Denmark, Nigeria, Ecuador, and Venezuela, and of course I have Aruba in top 10 best portraits. So I'm noticing small countries too, okay? I'm noticing you. So good job to Aruba. Slovakia looks stunning. Let's go to Petra's Instagram. So close this one and yes, beautiful Petra. So Petra is wearing a black dress with a white top, the detail in the white with the bow at the back. I think she looks beautiful, very elegant, very classy. I'm getting breakfast at Tiffany's. So yeah, it's giving me that Audrey Hepburn in breakfast at Tiffany. I like it. What do you guys think of this outfit and her styling? I think it's very clean, very polished. Very nice. I like it. Very good. Uh, moving on, we have Spain. Spain is wearing a geometric black and white jacket with trousers. She looks so tall. How tall is she? Because she looks extremely tall. Very edgy. I like it. It's asymmetrical, so one side is white and another side is black, like black sleeve and the Waist part is black on the opposite end. I think this is good. I like it. What do you think of Spain's outfit, guys? Let me know. And what placement will you give to Miss Spain? Top 5, top 12, or top 30? Let me know in the comment section. Beautiful. Yeah, I was just looking at the wiki. So, they have said they will do... Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's top 30, right? Yes, I was just double-checking. Anyway, going back to Miss Spain, I will say top 30 for now. She has a beautiful face, but I want to know more about who she is as a person. And I want to know from your side too, guys. What do you think of Spain? Let me know. Moving on, we have Brazil. Brazil is beautiful. She is just so stunning. Look at that face. Absolutely beautiful. She went with a classic bob. And I think this is a really sexy but very elegant outfit. I think this is the outfit she wore for the interview. We have the preliminary interview round. She's giving me, she's ready, she's a boss. You know, female, she's a, what, lady boss? What's the right term? Woman boss? I think it's lady boss, right? Boss lady, that's it, that's the term. She is giving us boss lady vibes with that business outfit. I like it. Looks beautiful. I thought that was trousers, but it's a long skirt. What do you think of Spain, not Spain, Brazil's outfit? Do you like Brazil? What do you think? Let's see in motion. She looks classy. Very beautiful, very fresh, very young. She has a very youthful vibe about her, so I'm interested to see what Brazil will do. What placement will they give to Brazil? Top 12 or top 30? Beautiful. I like this photo shoot. It looks like she has a moon. She's standing in front of the moon. Beautiful. Gorgeous. This is a really nice dinner outfit. Moving on. So Cambodia is wearing a very geometric big... Is she tagged? Okay, there we go. Let's go to Instagram. So this is her outfit for the interview. Yeah, it's nice. It has a lot of structure. This kind of looks very earthy tone. I don't know what the inspiration is. Okay, so this piece of home fabric is from my mother. Kept by my mother when she got married. Okay, for good luck. Good, I like the jacket. Very earthy. Moving on to Croatia. I'll make it quick for each girls because I want to talk and cover as much as possible. So Croatia looks good. It's simple, very classy, very demure. And she has a nice skirt, a lot of movement to that. Also, big pearls. I notice a lot of girls, when they want to look elegant, they go for pearls. I don't think you need to have big pearls, though. I would say small pearls look more better, personally. I, I don't really like big pearls. But, I mean, if she likes it, good for her. Moving on. Australia. What is that outfit? Let's take a look at her outfit. Australia. It looks very sustainable fashion. Okay, so it says, Outfit was inspired by the intricate yet simplicity of Australian shells and the beaches. The mother of pearl top, which represents the calming and the divine feminine energy, nurturing soul and powerful energy of a woman. The earth tone suit represents this 
simplistic nature of Australians and for me the sand at the beach which is where I feel the most alive so okay this is the beach basically okay nice it represents who she is if she didn't give me the description and information about this outfit I I would thought this was just she's ready to go clubbing <laughs> because this could be a clubbing outfit minus the jacket but then she gave us some description about it I think it's nice yes very tanned beige beige colors moving on india wow india looks beautiful let's go to profile to see the outfit properly india raya singer so she wore okay there's no description about it but i'm guessing this is inspired by indian culture i see a lot of prints looks like hand paint beautiful i see a little bit of eyes flowers looks like is that peacock looks like birds very tropical i think this is beautiful i like it She's representing herself and especially a home country and I like to see this. So I think this is uh, Lenga, right? Is it called Lenga? Yeah, uh, sari is draped around. So I think this is Lenga. So a skirt with a blouse and I think this is beautiful. She has a great body first of all. Second of all, she is very colorful, very vibrant and beautiful. So look at that. Face, face, face. that hair. That hair, that hair, that hair, love. I love the volume. Beautiful. So what do you think of India? Uh, golden. I think this is for dinner, right? Not for interview. This is the interview outfit. What do you think of interview outfit for Miss India? Let me know. And what out of 10, how many points will you give for India? And also, what placement will you give to Miss Universe India? Raya, top 5, top 12, or top 30? Let me know in the comments section. Then we have Egypt. Egypt is beautiful. So, oh wow, is that a national costume? We will talk about national costume tomorrow, right? Beautiful. It looks similar to a painting. I have a lot of strokes, paint, brushes everywhere. So it's very creative and very artistic. Finland looks good to you. France looks beautiful in here. Okay, so it's good. I think Egypt will be in top 30. She has a good story, beautiful face. So I'm excited to see Egypt. I think she is such an ins inspiring and motivational person. And I think a lot of people can relate to who she is as a person. As you can see on the screen, this is a beautiful skin. And I'm, I'm really happy to see Egypt. Moving on to Bonaire. So Bonaire is wearing... Is that a parrot? Looks like a parrot. I like it. Yeah, I wish the parrot was a bit higher. Maybe the head could be slightly higher because the position that the parrot is, it's not very flattering because I don't like it so low. Maybe the head could be slightly higher, but I think it's a beautiful color. It's white with green and yellow. So yeah, it's very beautiful. Elegant. Wow. Look at Zimbabwe queen. Moving on. Then we have Colombia where she went with the strapless. Oh, let's go to her profile. Colombia, this is one. So close to interview from Colombia is this beautiful outfit. So she's wearing a corset with a little bit of pleats. Like not even pleats. It is pleats, but I think it represents flowers. Or petals. So yeah, it's flower, very pastel pink. I think it's okay. It's fine. What do you think of her outfit? very shiny I would probably wear a suit if I were a contestant because I think suit is a very professional business outfit so this is okay I'll say this I'm not mad at it but what do you think of Colombia and what place will you give to Colombia moving on we are going to Belarus Belarus is also wearing pink Eleanor Eleonora uh, she hasn't posted her outfits I cannot talk about it there so okay she's wearing it looks like a party dress it's cute I like the shine of the fabric then we have Senegal let's go to Senegal's outfit uh, to see her outfit on Instagram so I guess this is inspired by her tribe or her country's outfit the national costume yeah it's pretty I like the flare of the sleeves it has a bit of volume colors textiles she looks beautiful good job to Senegal Moving on to, we have Dominican Republic. Wow. Wow. Celine Santos. She ate. She ate. 
she ate and left no crumbs guys come on come on dominican republic you always have beautiful girls and this is what i was talking about previously i like to see suits for the close interview because it is just such a polished and presentable outfit i like the colors it's pastel blue almost baby blue really like it because she looks tall you could see even the shoes the colors matches with the rest of the outfit very smart even the handkerchief on the beautiful designer handbag that she's holding they all complements each other so i think this is a very successful outfit how many points will you give to miss dominican public's outfit i would say nine because it is well constructed well structured tailored and you can really see her look at that her feminine figure is beautifully portrayed so i'll give a nine out of ten and what placement will we give to dominican public and uh, top 5, top 12, or top 30. I'm really curious to know how she did during the close interview because I know that she is okay. She's not the best speaker, she's a very decent speaker. So I'm quite curious to know how she did in the close interview because <clears throat> facially she is beautiful, she's spectacular. It's just about communication skills, which I'm not that sure about. So, what do you think of Celine, guys? Let me know. I think I'll give her 9 in terms of the look. Beautiful there. I think she did pr probably good, right? In the close interview. What do you think of her? Moving on. Finland, Matilda. Oh, my favorites are here. So Matilda is also one of my favorites. So she wore the baby blue uh, blouse, which is asymmetrical blouse. Then she has the white trousers. I think this is lovely. Beautiful. She's giving me, let it go, let it go. What was the song? I forgot the rest of the lyrics. <clears throat> but Frozen, you got what I'm trying to say. Yeah, Elsa from Frozen. I'm getting that vibe. Really nice. I think she looks beautiful. She looks comfortable. And it's it's um, casual, a little bit casual, but also really chic and stylish. So I like it. Yeah, she looks good. I like, I like Finland. Moving on to Chile, our singer of the group. So this is outfit, right? Oh, it is, is it blue or is it green? And my screen looks green, like light green. But beautiful asymmetrical suit with a bit of a blouse or like corset, crop top, not even corset, it's, it's a crop top in the one side. I like it. What do you think? What do you think of chili, guys? Let me know in the comments. I have been liking chili for a while. Ch Are you a Nikki fan? Are you a Nicki fan? You guys know I'm a big, I'm a huge Barb. Like, I love Nicki Minaj. She's my queen. So her putting Nicki music, I instantly love you. I love you. I cannot. I cannot with Chili. I love Chili. And her being a Nicki fan makes me like it even more. So, top five. I like the outfit. I know she's good at public speaking. She's quite talented. She can sing. She can perform. So I'm pretty sure she's good at communication skills, especially in interview round where you need to be really talkative. You need to be an extrovert, someone who could have good social skills, right? So that's something she's, she's quite good at. Let's look at the pictures. I like it. It's really nice. Nine out of ten. I'm liking most of the outfits. A lot of the girls are bringing fashion. Beautiful. I like the colors. Look at that. She's so slim. You could really see her figure. She's well-toned, good body, very healthy, talented, and really intelligent. So I'm really excited to see how she did in the close interview. I wish we could actually listen to the girls' interview because that allows us to understand who are the front runners. Similar to Miss Grand International where they do have the live stream for the interview round. Look at that. You guys know I love black. Black is one of my favorite colors. And this is so beautiful. I love it. I love that shine, the black sequins, a little bit of just ruffles on here. She looks wonderful. I think this is a, is that a hair? Looks like a clip on, but looks beautiful. Very stylish, very chic, spectacular. I like it. I like my dark feminine beauty. Love, lovely, lovely. She looks wonderful. I want to see something like this. If she has an evening gown that is more dark theme, I would love to see it in Ch uh, in Chile. I was going to say something else. Chile. Yeah. Emilia. She is beautiful though. Look at that. The hair, the beauty, the grace. Everything is there. And she has a personality to back it up too. So, top five. Top five to Chile. Moving on to DR Congo. Okay, they're not tags. So I'm just going to talk about the outfits. DR Congo, it looks like she's wearing an African tribal 
cape which is very regal majestic cypress looks beautiful it's she also has a cape but yeah, yeah they're not tagged so i'm not going to click on the names uh bahrain i think this is a uh, kaftan and estonia beautiful corset with trousers facially beautiful they're not tagged by the way guys if you're wondering malta i think it's a nice outfit is that is that say charles charles and ron or oh, is a Harrison Ron? I cannot read the name, but that looks very luxurious. Iceland looks cute. Botswana, it's just okay, it's fine. It's beautiful there. Uh, the color suits are. Uh, Guyana, no, not Guyana. Guinea, sorry, Guinea. It's okay. It's it's cute. Bahamas looks good. I wish there were a better picture of Bahamas, but she looks beautiful. Then that's Lao. This is beautiful Lao textiles in the jacket. I like it. Beautiful color. Jamaica is always beautiful. Yes, I like this a bit of a feathers moment. Cute. Uh, I don't know who this is. Let's go to Jamaica. Namibia. So Namibia is wearing African te uh, textiles, fabrics, a little bit of a pink. What is that? Lace. Is that lace? Yeah, pink lace. And she looks pretty. Argentina, very clean, very polished. Uh, Guatemala, it's okay, it's a very nice outfit, like safe. Then we have US Virgin Island. This is kind of giving me, I'm saying in the best way possible, it's giving me like pajamas, like very luxurious pajamas with a jacket. So someone who looks, oh, Denmark, Denmark looks like a queen. I did not expect her to wear evening gown for the close to interview. Let me go to Instagram, hold on a moment. VI. Victoria, let's see the outfit. Oh my god. My personal interview and what a true. My jaw dropped to the floor, guys. She looks incredible. I do not ex okay. It's not a gown. It's uh, it looks like trousers. It just yeah, it is trousers. Yeah, but it's incredible. It's a jumpsuit, but she looks so queenly, so regal, so beautiful. Let's look at the close-up shots. My, my. Denmark did not come to play, guys. I'm telling you, she's making to the top five. Denmark said, you want fashion, I'll serve you fashion. I love this big shoulder moment. I'm, I'm noticing this is becoming a trend in beauty pageants nowadays. Uh, even Thailand had it during the national competition, so it's beautiful. It's like a bow. She looks stunning. I like it. What do you think of Denmark's outfit? How many points will you give to Denmark? I'll say 9.5. It's quite good. She definitely stands out from the rest. So I'll give her 9.5 out of 10. And I love her. She looks so beautiful. So stunning. And I know she can speak. So I'm not worried about her interview skills. I know she's good at public speaking. She has done charity work. She's a beautiful message and personal story that she would like to sp uh, spread and let the judges know who she is as a person, being natural and authentic. So, what placement will you give to Denmark? Top 5, top 12, or top 30? Let me know in the comment section or in the YouTube chat box. Let me know. I love Denmark. <clears throat> Pardon me. I love Denmark. Then we have Costa Rica, a simple dress with a little bit of ruffles. Israel, it's okay. It's not my favorite. Um, then we have, okay, I don't know who these are. Uh, Laos and uh, Denmark, Costa Rica, Israel. Cameroon, okay. Cameroon is wearing ruffles, red. Hong Kong. It's nice outfits, very simple. Then after Hong Kong, we have Belize, red outfit, very simple. Hungary, okay, that's a nice outfit. Is that Hungarian outfit? Like the, the jack she has, it looks military inspired. I love the details of the top. Kenya, I think it's nice. And once again, very simple. British Virgin Islands, it's, it's okay. Yeah, I've seen that dress before. Ireland. I wish the girls wore more than white. I know white is a color of peace and unity, but I'm noticing a lot of the contestants are wearing white, so it kind of blends in. So the ones who are standing out to me are g girls who have colors similar to Denmark, because she has such a bold color, which is quite different and makes it unique. So I wish the rest of them had it. Anyway, Ireland. She's wearing a white jumpsuit. That's fine. Great Britain. She looks classy. And the last one is... No, Fiji. We have more. Then the last one in this group is Fiji. Mexico, of course, white again. So see what I mean? A lot of white dresses. Russia. Wait, I'm going to Russia. Where is Russia? R, 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 R. 
Love Russia. Let's go to outfit. Love. Love. Now that's a queen. That is a queen. I wish she had a different color because it's kind of being repetitive with other contestants. So except the color, I do really like the outfit. She looks so princess. She is our Russian princess straight from Moscow, Russia. Beautiful. I mean, guys, come on. Russian girls are so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Love. I'll give her top 12. What place will you give to you, Russia? Top 5, top 12, or top 30? Let me know in the comments section. I don't know how she is in terms of communication skills, but she seems quite intelligent based on the captions I'm reading, but that's quite different than how she actually speaks, right? So I'm... I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys, Russia did not come to play. Like, Russia's outfit, it's so extraordinary, beautiful. The, the shape that is creating to enhance the curves, it's just magical i love it i love russia then moldova is, is fine bolivia it's cute who's this is this uh, belgium nice outfit i mean it's a simple outfit her face is beautiful curacao white again cuba mm, it's okay it's kind of like going to the church I mean, she's beautiful though but the dress is kind of like she's ready to go to sunday church mm, not my favorite singapore it's okay ecuador let's go to ecuador's out uh, ecuador e mara topic Let's see the overall outfit. Red is color of passion and fire. Beautiful. Look at him. Stunning. I like the detail of the, the... Is that a jacket? Or is that the separate belts? I like it. Let's see a better picture. Going back like this. I like this because it makes her waist look really small. Yeah, I think she looks like a doll. Beautiful face. Very minimal, natural makeup. So I'm excited to see Ecuador. I put in top 12 for now because my top 5 is full. But what place will you give to Ecuador? Top 5, top 12, or top 30? Let me know. Mara Topic is one of my favorites. She has been one of the front runner from the start of the competition. So I'm quite looking forward to see how she will perform. Cayman Island, it's okay. Okay, this is really sexy. Guyana, it's, I think it's too sexy. Then Italy, nice. Okay, let's go to close this. Love Denmark. Uh, do we have more pictures? Okay, let's go to videos. Yeah, I was saying before ukulele. She can play it really good. I don't know, was she playing this? Imagine she plays this during the closed interview. That would be fun. I like it that she's really creative and talented. Then. Okay, this is from yesterday. He hasn't posted anything new. Let's go to pageant news. Girls are giving us fashion. Fashion. Love. Peru. This could easily be a prune evening gown competition. Like, this gown. It looks Miss Universe level. And she looks great. I didn't see Tatiana's outfit. What did she wear? Did she wear a white dress? Let me go to... Um, hold on. Have, is she tagged? Tatiana, what was her interview outfit? Yeah, it's not in her profile. 10 hours ago. I also haven't seen Chelsea's outfit. Let's go to... What did she wear? Oh, this must be the interview outfit. Okay, got it. So she's wearing a white. I wish this color again. I mean, white looks good against her skin tone. So she's wearing a poofy sleeve with uh, I want to see the overall outfit though does she have the full outfit let's go to Miss Peru oh okay it's a jumpsuit right okay it's, it's it's cute but it's quite safe I would say I expected more from Peru in terms of outfit I think she's stunning like facially beautiful, good at speaking. I wish the outfit was slightly better because everyone's wearing white, so I'm kind of getting like bored of seeing white dresses or outfits. But I would give her points for this outfit. Like this is lovely. I love this evening gown. This could like save this for the preliminary evening gown. Preliminary competition. This could be spectacular. But yeah, I prefer this compared to the closed interview. Going to a bestie. What is she wear? Is, wait, is this her? Was this her closed interview outfit? Okay, so it's a corset with trousers. It's fine. It's quite simple. 
I do want to know what is the inspiration. This looks like a Filipino shirt. Is that a Filipino shirt? The menswear or the textiles kind of looks like shirt. Anyway, yeah, it's it's fine. It's a very simple outfit. Maybe I have just had a high expectation from girls like Philippines and Peru. So I'm a little bit let down by the selection of the styling for both of them. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's okay, but it's not nothing that's making her go like, wow. Like, I'm not going like, you know, this is incredible. When I saw Denmark, I went like, that is an outfit. So I think this is a very simple, very effortless outfit. But it doesn't scream close to interview. This could easily be an everyday outfit. I mean, I wish I had a jacket or something going on to complete the look. It looks incomplete. And I'm trying my best to be supportive to everyone, but I'll also give my criticism and feedback for them to improve. So, you know, this looks very incomplete. Like you can see, I wish she had a jacket on top, then this would look much better. She's beautiful, but styling still needs a bit more improvement. What placement to give to Philippines? Let me know. Top 5, top 12, or top 30? Let me know in the comment section. Then, so we t talked about Peru. I'll say Peru is top 5. Hands down, that, that's a top five outfit. Yes, love. I hope she spoke good too. Then from her, we're going back to pageant news. Italy wearing red hot, hot, hot. Wow, bellissimo, bella. Brazil. I, is it just me or I feel like that was chilly for a moment? Hold on. Are they wearing the same outfit? This is giving me chilly vibes. Hold on. Let me go to Chili's Instagram. Why does he look so similar? Hold on. Hold on. I just saw the same outfit a moment ago. Hold on a moment. Uno momento. Por favor. Emilia. I swear they look the same. The hairstyle. Controversial. I swear this is the same outfit. But I do think she looks better. Maybe it's the hairstyle. It's very similar. I would prefer, yeah, I prefer chilies. It's more polished. I wish Brazil didn't have the bangs, the fringe. Um, yeah, she already looks like a teenager. I think if she has slick back or different hairstyle, I don't mind the outfit so much. It's fine, but. It's giving me chili. I was confused for a moment. I thought this was chili. Okay, moving on. Turkey. It's fine. It's safe. Uh, chili. Uh, not chili. It's China. Sorry, China. It's fine. I don't. I don't like seeing like beige gowns. It's kind of boring. Macau. Beautiful. What country is that? Poland. Is I think a jumpsuit. Lao. Always representing a culture. We like to see that. Anyone else? Cyprus, okay, beautiful. Then we have Cote d'Ivoire. Oh, wow, Cote d'Ivoire, okay, we're seeing some African fashion. Finally, some fashion. Okay, and the last one, and now we have two more Great Britain. Okay, it's, it's, it's fine. And then the last one, uh, beige again, never mind. Okay, moving on to. That's a queen, that's a queen right there. She arrived, she said, George, you want fashion? I'll give you some fashion. Probably the best dress for the dinner, I will say Peru. Cuba. Wow, drama, drama, drama. Hello. What is that? Is that like dangling pearls? Look at that. Wow. Woo. Me canta. Hermosa Cuba. I like it. It's quite different. It's unique. Beautiful. I prefer this compared to the uh, interview dress that she wore. Beautiful Cuba. <gasps> mm -mm 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 -mm. This is giving me Miss Universe vibes. Similar to Sanish Palacio, lost his Miss Universe from Nicaragua. The colors are almost the same. Silver dress with the blue cape, right? Yeah, I like it though. It has a bit of a drama. I like that she's just being playful. 
it looks good it's spectacular i know this is not a preliminary evening gown so she's wearing really expensive luxurious dresses even just for dinner look at i mean how is she doing this this is so effortless the way she moves beautiful love puerto rico what place will you give to puerto rico jennifer top five top 12 or top 30. i like it this outfit is beautiful then we have bolivia fire it's giving us fire lava that is erupted from the volcano beautiful the face is stunning bolivia nice i wish they had better events like special events where they could wear these outfits i feel that they kind of it's a waste they're just wearing these expensive dresses which are custom made for dinner it's, and i it's a shame because if you look at miss grand international they actually have special events like gala, di gala dinner or red carpet events like something where you can actually showcase these dresses in hd live stream but we're just getting the pageant pages doing this which they are doing a great job but the girls are only wearing for dinner so it's kind of a waste i wish they had other events yeah anyway honduras beautiful absolutely stunning I, I even like the little bit of hair curled can you just let the girls pose for a moment please i know the security guards are there doing you know they're there to protect the contestants i get it i get it right i i get it but i think these girls who don't even have events to go to they're just wearing this for dinner let them pose maybe five minutes each girl five minutes and they can move and maybe just talk to some press a little bit and just take some photos but they are rushing the contestants you could see that the lady in grace is just kind of pushing them around i don't like it it's not nice yeah it feels like cattle market like these are girls they are, these are humans treat them properly these are queens so like she looks incredible but like look at that she wants to take a photo just let her take a photo Ugh. annoying yeah i don't like people just you know rushing around anyway moving on i like honduras outfit ecuador beautiful in orange indonesia love the color yellow is the color of joy and happiness oh cute oh they look so cute together ecuador and indonesia beautiful Mexico, Mexico is wearing, is that white or is that beige? I hope it's white. Oh, it's cream, it's cream color. All right, she is a woman of the night. She is wearing this gorgeous, expensive, looks like, is that stones? Yeah, maybe Soski crystals. Beautiful though. Germany, beautiful. Love the outfit, Germany. Good job. She's giving us a bit of a veil. Oh, Colombia. Sorry, I'm, I'm yearning because we're not really seeing anything interesting except some fashion. Okay, Denmark looks good. I can't see properly though, but she looks good from the little coverage I'm getting. Beautiful face, golden outfit. I do like her interview outfit more. Uh, Romania, Chile, let's see. Chile looks stunning! Can we play audio? See, they're not letting the girls interact. It's so annoying. They're like pushing them around, dragging them around. It's just tragic. Because I want her to actually get a good photos and we're not even getting to see the outfit properly. And look at that. She wants to go there to talk to people, but the security is like, no. Like, why? Just let her talk. It's not like it's not going to be long. It's going to be like, what, a minute? Just let her say like, hi, I'm good. I'm feeling great, beautiful. This is from this designer. And just that's it. And moving on. But she looks incredible though. You cannot deny that. I just don't like how the security is like handling them. They're like pushing them around. You can see this guy's like holding her. I don't like it. Get off. Dominican Republic. Ooh, mama. Wow. Wow. That is incredible. The color. Wow. Color is outstanding. Okay, is that it from this page? 
Is was that her star of the night? Let's go to Pawi. Pawi probably has some post. So these are dinner. So India in gold, pretty. Puerto Rico, very classy. Puerto Rico looks really classy. Thailand. Wait, this is not from yesterday. I mean, this is not from today. This is from yesterday. Beautiful. Kyrgyzstan, Ecuador, stunning. Love the kiss. She looks like a superwoman. El Salvador, Guyana. Hmm. Okay. Slovakia, pretty. Okay. I'm. Kuba looks stunning. Poland. Hmm. Pakistan looks good. I like that she has the South Asian, right? Uh, accessories. Okay. Mm, okay. These are from yesterday, so I'm not going to look at it because I already saw it yesterday. So moving on to a different page. Beautiful. I love this outfit, actually. I saw hers. Oh, okay. Look, a few others. Who's this? Kurosawa. This could easily be a final competition evening gown. Oh, the girls, they're just wasting the dresses. I wish they had some special events they could wear this because this is actually a really good evening gown. Beautiful. Look at that. Stunning. Kurosawa. Who's this next? We have Costa Rica wearing a black dress with a big cape. I love capes. I mean, cape just feels so empowered and confident. Oh, sorry guys, I'm like yawning so much. Moving on. Yes, Germany. Give us some drama. Then we have Colombia behind her. Oh, we didn't see Colombia, never mind. Uh, then we have Denmark. She's always so pretty. Love Denmark. Her body is just so pretty. Okay, at least in here they don't have security guards. Then we have Honduras, pretty, Bolivia, love, Equatoria, Guinea, nice. I do like Bolivia's dress, very beautiful. Uh, Spain, wow. Spain is bonita. She just looks so good. Everything she wears, she does. She looks incredible in any outfit that you give to Dominican Republic. She looks incredible. I love the hair, the makeup, the outfit, the accessories. Just beautiful, beautiful. Great job, Dominican Republic. Look at that. Chile said, you know what? Let's see the full. Wow. It's very different. I wish the shoes was black. Oh, she had something black on the footwear because the rest of the outfit I like. I like the hair, the black, a little bit of fun element because everyone's wearing evening gowns. So she's wearing a short dress and she stands out. So very clever. Of course, Peru. Me gusta. Me gusta. So elegant. La Peru. Beautiful. Uh, okay, Colombia. Finally, we get to see Colombia's dress. Ooh. Well, it's frozen. Let's go back. Nice. Is it my internet or is it the video for frozen? Frozen again. It's fine. It's cute. Hello, that's good. Hey, Adams. Russia, the queen. The queen, the queen, the queen. Hello, queen. Beautiful. I love Russia. What do you guys think of Russia? I love Russia's fashion, her face, her body, her beauty, everything I love about Russia. Um, let's see the ones we haven't seen so far though. We haven't seen her. Clara. Oh. I want to see Clara. Can we see Clara? How was I think I should go to Instagram to see the full outfit. Ooh, nice. What do you call this? Okay, honored to wear this stunning outfit for my deep interview on Modern Cut showcasing the intricate beauty of Tinan 
from the Palabang Sumatra. The piece embodies the harmony of tradition and modernity, representing our young generation's pride in Indonesian culture. Each thread tells a story of a heritage and craftsmanship, a reminder that our roots are always a part of who we are. No matter where we go, let's keep celebrating and embracing our rich culture with pride. This outfit, I'm loving this. I also want to see Kabaya. I know she wore this previously to Kabaya. So I like it. It's very colorful, very rich, and she's celebrating her heritage, her culture. And that's something I do appreciate. I know she wore Kabaya a few days ago. Let me see if I can find it like this. Love. Love this. I love seeing Kabaya in beauty pageants. So I want to see maybe something like this. In the upcoming days too. This is such a good successful outfit. Love this. Beautiful. Good job Indonesia. You're making your country proud. Okay. Who else? Beauty. Beauty. Hello there. My name is Parsh here and I'm from Indonesia. I'm super excited for a deep interview because I believe this is my time to shine. I prepared a lot for it but most importantly I'm just going to be me. I believe I have the genuinity, I have the personality and I have what it takes to be the next Miss Universe. Yes, have fun and talk about the social work. Make sure you enjoy that three minutes with each of the judges. She looks good. I like the outfit. So what do you like about Indonesia, guys? If you like Indonesia, let me know in the comment. If you like her in top 5, top 12, or top 30. I'll say top 12 for now. Brazil looks so much better in this outfit compared to the dinner. Are you nervous? Um, to be honest, yes, a bit, but I think it's part of the process. I mean, it's a very important moment, I would say. Yeah, I mean, it's, being nervous is a natural human trait. Like, you know, we, when you're so excited about something, being nervous shows that we care about the situation. And I think she looks incredible. I like the outfit. It's giving us a very business vibe. Yeah, she's ready for the interview. Colombia. Miss Universe Colombia and I am about to go to the interview with the judges. She's confident. I'm so She's extremely confident, so I think she will nail that interview. I'm so happy, so grateful for this moment. And I just only want to connect with them, to tell my story, to tell all the, the work that I have been doing for, for years in Colombia. So I'm Exactly what I said previously. Talk about the social work and the philanthropic work you have done. Talk about it. Why do you want to do this project? What is the reason behind you selected this social project? The name behind the social advocacy? And what is your future goal? Let's say 10 years down the line in the future after Miss Universe competition. Is it something that you'd like to continue onwards in the 10 years? And what do you see yourself doing? So the future goals. It's very much like a job interview. So you need to kind of nail every aspect of the three minutes interview with each of the judges most of them will ask pretty much the same questions why miss universe why did you come to this competition just you need to sell yourself you need to be that okay i am ready i'm confident i have my resume ready i have the qualifications and i'm ready to be an ambassador you need to prove them that you are the right person for the job so really really happy and excited good job okay philippine <laughs> But, yeah, it's 23 hours ago. Why are they doing this? I don't like how they're behaving. Like, I want Philip. I want to see our fit, but the security guards are like just... I don't like how they're behaving, guys. I'm not a big fan of this. But she looks pretty. Philippines looks pretty. It's just how the security is acting. I don't like it. So let's see anyone else has a new is this this from last night. Okay, 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 okay. Pretty Israel, Tax and Caicos. I think that's it for today. Uh let's see if Miss Un Universe has anything new. So this is from last night. Beautiful though. What is the map aware? I didn't see her in outfit. Is this oh, okay? This is a close interview. She looks like Miss Universe. That's a Miss Universe face, the smile, the beauty, the grace. Oh, finally, someone came to work. <laughs> is this the interview look, right? Yeah.
Today for my interview, I wore the Camilla suit from the Atelier Remy, Emmy, uh, with the pink bottom shoes. Good. Pretty. Gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Top five. Hands down. Top five. Gorgeous. Muy bonita. Oh. Hmm. Pretty. Oh my god, look at those two. Look at Nigeria for beauty. Chichi, let's go to Chichi. My god. Is this her interview outfit? Love. Beautiful. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. I think royal blue is the color of the queens, the empresses. So this is a spectacular outfit. Love. What do you think of Nigeria? What placement will you give her? Let's say top 5, top 12, or top 30. Beautiful though. Guys, come on. Face card. Face card is giving to us. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Even this. One of my favorite photos. That's a queen. She's a queen of Africa. Speaking of Africa, let's go to South Africa. Mia, what do you think? Do you like the outfit for a closed interview? I think this is not my favorite. She's beautiful though, so I think she did probably good at the closed interview. I'll say 7 out of 10. What place will you give to South Africa? Top 5, top 12, or top 30? Let me know in the comment section. And I know she probably nailed that interview. South Africans are good at communication skills. So it's just that the outfit I'm not a big fan of because it doesn't really scream professional. It's kind of like, it's fine. It's okay. Anyway, so I think that's it, right? Today, I like Uzbekistan, so. Very fashion. Very, very fashion. Love. Okay, we can see her full outfit. Congo, beautiful. Love. She's embracing her African self. Gorgeous. Uh, who else? We haven't seen. I think that's it. So, let me get this one. So yes, that was the close to interview outfits, fashion, and we also talked about the selection committee at the start. Let me know who was the best dress according to you at the close to interview of Miss Universe 2024. I had a fine. <laughs> I mean, I was a bit bored halfway through because a lot of them were in white. So I wish they were just kind of being experimental, went outside the comfort zone and gave us some colors. So hopefully for the gowns in the prudent competition, we don't see it. A lot of white evening gown. Saying that, guys, if you enjoyed my chat, it was about an hour, so I hope you liked it. And tomorrow we'll talk about maybe national costume. So, the national costume is on the... Okay, yeah, it is tomorrow. Well, technically day after tomorrow for me. It will be the, the preliminary competition and the national costume on November 14. So, I will do that. Probably national costume tomorrow if the contestant have showcased it on social media. So, thank you so much for watching this video, guys like comment subscribe let me know who are your favorites in the comment and uh, subscribe to this youtube channel to see more videos like this and i hope to see you guys see see you tomorrow okay so bye bye have a good day